Hi everybody, horticulturist Gary Bachman. Time for another daily dose of heart. And I think that you guys might like this tip. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's very, um, very rewarding. I like to save seeds. You know, and I've talked about saving tomato seeds, you know, and pepper seeds. But I also save zinnia seeds. And the zinnia seeds are these little, I don't know, I don't know what, what shape, what shape would you call that? I'd say like arrowhead shape or triangular shape seeds, you know, that, 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 that you get from a, from a zinnia packet. But this is the finished product. This is what you have to start out with. This is almost five gallons of spent zinnia flower heads that I've collected over this year. Now I'm going to show you the steps that have to that you have to go through to go from this to this. And to give you a little little hint, this is almost like gold mining, you know, on those TV shows. What you have to do is you have to break the the, the seed heads up. And You, you could go ahead and individually, you, you know, crush the seed heads like this. And it's like, okay, so where the heck are the seeds in there, right? Well, I don't know. What, what do you think, Kate? You think there's a couple of them in there? This, oh, wait a second. I found one. This is, this is like a lot of work to go through here. There, there we go. There, there, there's some. Right, right there. Yeah. A lot of work to do five gallons worth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some power to it. I like to use a, this is a painter's um, paint mixer. I've put some chain link on it. And this is actually the same apparatus I use for the um, harvesting of the, of the wheat seed. And I'm going to come around here because... I, I need to I need to get because there's a little bit of height here, but I'm going to do. This. Oh, hang on a second. I'm not that organized. I'm I'm coming back. If you don't if you don't put a top on on this and you start mixing, all the seed comes flying out. Okay, you ready? This is going to take a little bit. We'll speed up the video. So, here. That wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> Kate was giving me these, these really dirty looks. <laughs> but but do, doing that, so we have gone from <laughs> flower heads it's all basically kind of, I don't know, is it kind of mulched? We'll, 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 we'll see. Um, do what? It's thrashed. Or is it, if we're talking agronomic terms, is it threshed? I don't know. But we had all, all, those, all those flower heads, and, and now, now, we've, now we've got this. So how in the heck are, are we going to separate the seeds out? Well, I'm, I'm going to show you. Now, this is really an old-time method of you know, separating seed, um, you know, the, the non-seed portions of the flower. And we're just going to take a fan, and I'm just going to kind of drop the... Flack. The flack. 
<laughs> Kate calls it the flack. We'll call it the flack. Down into the stream, the light stuff will blow out. The heavier seeds will will drop into the little pan. And like I said, this is gold mining. I've been watching, you know, gold rush, and I'm I'm really kind of fascinated by this. But I do have to put on some safety glasses because I don't know if anybody's noticed. I'm not wearing any glasses. I'm going through cataract correction surgeries here, and so. I can, I can wear my glasses without a lens on this side, a lens on this side. My eyes are fighting. I get a headache, so I just took the glasses off. I can kind of get around, but I do need some eye protection. So I'm going to put the, the stylish glasses on. And let's go ahead and let's try and separate some seeds here. Flat. <laughs> and Katie's correct. She's in the line of flack right here. But when you, when you do this, and I'm just dropping it in here, and I, and I hope you can see down in the, in, the, in, the, in the little basket, you can see the seed that, that are falling out because they're, he, they're heavier. Are you able to get that, Kate? Yeah. That I mean... I, well, I'm not real. Yeah, I can get that. Okay. Now. Okay. But 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 what's really interesting about this is we're not collecting every seed. Some are blowing out, and I'm predicting we're going to have a bumper crop of volunteer zinnias all over the backyard here where where we're where we're doing this. And I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit. Let's see, see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I don't see a lot of seed falling out beyond the... And we may have to do this a couple times, which I, which I think is okay. Not, now, Kate, Kate, take a look at kind of the flack that is all going out. There's really not that much seed out in there that we're missing. Okay, let's get serious about it here. Now, anyways, that's probably enough to to to, dem to demonstrate what we're doing. Okay, one one more step I'm going to do here because there is some big debris. I've got my um, set of screens, uh, di diff different different size holes in 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 the sc in the screens to let different particle sizes fall through, and we'll. We'll, we'll just do that. Well, guys, obviously we had an audio malfunction there as I was explaining how to separate, further separate the zinnia seeds from what we were calling the flak. Out, out there on the back porch. But anyway, so I just wanted to just to show you, here's the end result of that five gallon bucket of zinnia seeds and going through that process of blowing the flack out of there, you know, and, and concentrating the seeds. I've got a quart of zinnia seeds, homegrown zinnia seeds. And I made a couple references to the, the gold miners, you know, in this, in this video. I mean, and at the end of each episode, what do they put their gold in? They put them in mason jars. This is landscape gold, baby. Hey, 
Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time for another daily dose of pork.